from archives.gov. This bit. This is the reference material in that multi-page dissertation that I sent to the Supreme Court. Let me just read an excerpt here that applies to the current situation. Mm. Let me just go to right there. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute a new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. The foundations that that is referencing <laughs> this sentence just above it we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these rights are life liberty and the pursuit of happiness how is that relevant to the total situation going on now there was a group that stood their ground, held weapons against a mob called Black Lives Matter that broke down their gate at their own home. This group attacked this family and a man and his wife stood their ground and told the mob to fuck off through whatever wording they chose to use and what was the United States government's response to criminalize and penalize and in other means disregard their right to defend their life their unalienable right to their own lives was disregarded by the federal government when looters and rioters broke into their home tore down their gate that was around their home. And this is just recently. This is only just recently. It is clear and that's not even an isolated incident. It is abundantly clear that the United States federal government is incapable and refuses, blatantly refuses, to uphold the Declaration of Independence. One of the key founding primary principles of the so-called United States of America. All of you, all of America, it is your fucking responsibility to abolish and destroy this corrupt, tyrannical regime of terrorists that calls itself the United States government. And I no longer consent to the United States federal government having anything to do with my life. My life is my own to live or take. That is my privilege, my unalienable right to live my life as I so see fit without indirectly or directly intentionally conflicting with another's rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And since the United States government has infringed the right of life to that particular individual and so many others 
it is literally uncountable how many they have violated. Let's look at a statistic. It's believed that a, a minimum of 4% of innocent people are in prison. Their unalienable right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness has been directly and blatantly violated. There should be 0% of innocent people in prison. That statistic, even though it's a small number, it's absurd and it should never have existed as a statistic. Your government that's supposed to protect you needs to be held to the highest standard. In the moment, it has a simplest fuck up. It needs to be under extreme scrutiny because no fuck up should ever occur. Not when you're talking about people's lives. I no longer consent to the corrupt terrorist organization that calls itself the United States federal government or the local governments or the state governments or any so-called authority therein. I no longer consent to being terrorized. I no longer consent to having my rights stripped from me and violated. Unfortunately for me, I can't rise up and start killing people. I'm on uh, a really fucked up heart medication. I can't take the stress. But those of you who are able-bodied, it's your responsibility to rise up against this terrorist organization and destroy it. And a lot of you haven't done jack shit. You've sat on your ass and watched the news thinking it'll blow over. It's been an entire goddamn year. When the hell do you think this is gonna blow over? Bitches like Fauci are threatening to take away people's ability to live in their own homes just because they're congregating together with their friends and family or having a party. Their own right to live their life as they so see fit. And if your concern is, oh, it, they need to be safe from the virus, go fucking kill yourself, bitch. It's their right to to endanger their life if they so see fit. It's not your right or privilege to strip that from them. It's their choice to live their lives however the fuck they want. And if you're going to say anything against it, you're a terrorist just like the United States government. So go kill yourself, bitch. And YouTube, if you don't like the point and message of this video, please delete your fucking existence. But for everyone else, it's your fucking responsibility, as outlined in the Declaration of Independence, to rise up against such tyranny. And if you don't do it, then you don't deserve to fucking exist.